everybody. Um, this is my second uh, video that I'm going to post on today. Um, so this is level two core and abdominals. It's going to be significantly harder to the first video. So if you found the first video quite challenging, you this is quite a step up. Um, so suitable if you don't really have any major problems going on, if you, if you haven't got any joint pain. Um, definitely not for postnatal, not for back problems. Perhaps if you've got knee issues as well, just be careful. Um, so as usual, any problems don't do. If you've got any issues, you can always message me. Make sure you stop straight away if you have any pain or um, any any problems at all throughout the session. Um, but if you're fit and well and, and ready to go, then um, we'll just crack on. Um, in terms of um, equipment, I've just got is the usual head supports. Um, so I've got one big, one little. So as, as I say every time, don't have to have those. If you've just got a rolled up towel or a cushion, um, that will do perfectly. I have got some weights, so these are only a kilo. If you have too heavy weights, it's going to be too much. Um, so don't go too heavy on the weights. I would only use one or two kilos. Two kilos would be more than more than enough, so you don't need to go any heavier than that. Um, but again, if you haven't got weights, just use something around the house. Um, you don't have to use weights at all. If you've got the weighted balls, some, I know some people have got the purple um, weighted ball so you can use those as well um, so um, yeah that, that's also fine so we're going to get going so we've got feet under hips as normal just set yourself up first so we want nice even weight going through your feet big toe little toe hip heel down evenly into the floor we're going to connect into your core so we're thinking about pubic bone to tummy button just engaging up through your imaginary zip make sure that your spine and your pelvis are in neutral so if we think about your bucket of water we're going to slosh the water one way back the other and then we're just going to bring it so that it's just nice and level within your imaginary bucket. Pelvis is level through the front, your ribs are stacked over your hips and um, your shoulder blades are drawing down. So we're going to start nice and easy, we're just going to take your weights, we're just going to cross them over your chest in front and we're just going to rotate round. So we're going to breathe in as you turn, as you breathe out and come back to the centre I want you to think about drawing up into your imaginary zip that little bit deeper. So we're going to breathe in to turn, Breathe out to come back, in to turn, out to come back. Just keep going, I'm just gonna do a few more. So one more each way, and you should feel your core connecting just from doing this. Make sure you're using your breathing. So next one we're gonna add on, we're gonna rotate, but then we're gonna stretch out the arms, we're gonna come back, and then come back to the center. So we're gonna turn, stretch, back, and return. So make sure that as you're stretching the arms, you're not hunching the shoulders, so keep drawing down into the shoulder blades. This is where you'll find that the weights are much too heavy if you've got more than a couple of kilos. So breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back. Breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back. We're just gonna do one more each way. come back to the centre. Now we're just going to drop your arms down by your side. We're just going to do some little side bends now. So again, zip up into your imaginary zip. Keep your shoulders down. We're just going to come down to one side and then we're going to come back up. So we're going to breathe in to come down. Breathe out. Think about connecting that bit deeper into the core as you come back up. Keep it going. So breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in Breathe out, zip up as you come back up. Make sure you're exhaling on the return. So one more each way. And then we're gonna add on a little bit more again. So this time we're just gonna take one arm out to the side. So we're actually gonna do a shoulder press. So if you do have any shoulder issues, just be careful with this as well. So we're gonna reach the arm up, keep the arm long, and we're gonna lean over. And then we're gonna return. And you're just gonna come back, just so that the elbow is just level with the shoulder. So we're gonna press over, and then we're gonna return. We're gonna breathe in to press over. Breathe out, connecting to your core that bit deeper as you return. Breathe in, 
breathe out. You can do three more. And then bring that arm down. And obviously we're gonna do the same on the other side. So come into your shoulder press position. Just make sure that shoulder blade is drawing down. We're gonna press over and then draw it back. Breathe in, breathe out. So just watch the shoulder, make sure you're not hunching into the shoulder blade. It's really easy to do. Breathe in, breathe out. Connect that bit more into your core as you're coming back to the center. Two to go. And then come down, well done. So just take your feet out just a little bit wider. This time we're gonna just do some shoulder lifts in front. So it's amazing just how these arm movements really target into your core. So although, yes, we're working the arms, we're really focusing on what's going on with the core as you're working. So we're gonna bring your arms in front. We're just gonna do some arm lifts to start with. So we're gonna breathe out, come up just to shoulder height. Breathe in, come down. Breathe out. Breathe in. So you shouldn't feel your back arching or flattening as you're moving the arms up and down. Keep your shoulder blades drawing down the back. It's all about the control. Keep going. Breathe out, lift. And breathe in, come down. Now we're going to add a little um, squat in with it. Okay, so this time we're going to drop your, your arms straight down to the floor. We're going to let the knees bend a little bit. And then we're going to lift the arms up as you come up. So we're coming down and then we're coming up. Breathe in, breathe out, in, out. So again, on the out breath, as you're lifting back up, just make sure that you're really zipping up into your imaginary zip, pubic bone to tummy button. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Three to go. Last one, we're gonna hold at the top, we're gonna to do some arm opening. So bring your palms so they're facing in towards one another. We're gonna open the arms and then we're gonna close. So we're gonna breathe in to open, breathe out to close in. So again, connect that bit deeper into your core as the arms are coming in. Breathe in, breathe out. Every time you exhale, we're just trying to connect that bit more into your zip. Keep your shoulder blades down, and particularly as you open the arms out to the side, make sure you're not arching into your spine. So we wanna keep the ribs just stacked over the pelvis. We're gonna do two more. And then if you bring your feet a little bit closer together, we're gonna to press your arms up to the ceiling and then we're just gonna drop the hands behind your head. So we're gonna do some tricep, tricep presses. So we're gonna drop the arms down and I'm gonna press back up to the ceiling. So again, zip up, make sure your spine's in neutral, shoulders are down, we're gonna breathe in to bend and breathe out to stretch up. In. Breathe out. Again, connect into your tummy every time you breathe out. Three to go. and then press up and circle the arms around and down and we'll just roll your shoulders a couple of times each direction. So arm exercises in standing are a great way of targeting your deep core muscles. Okay, so really, really good exercises to do. So we're gonna bring it down onto the mat. We're gonna start on your back. 
I quite like to have an, a slightly bigger block under my head for these, but if you want to, you can go a little bit flatter. We're going to do some bridges at some point as well, so it's good to have a slightly um, lower pad as well if you've got one. Um, if you haven't, just take your big one away and just bring your head flat onto the floor when we do those. So, we're still using the weights. So we've got feet, knees and hips parallel. Your head is well supported on your pad. Just make sure your neck is neutral, your shoulders are down. And then before you start, just check that your spine and pelvis are in neutral. So we're gonna flatten, we're gonna arch, we're gonna rest in the middle. Your rib cage is nice and heavy and soft. And we're gonna take your weights. We're gonna press the arms up. Now we're gonna connect into your core first. So think about your pubic bone to tummy button again. Draw the shoulder blades down into the floor. We're going to do a little chest press here now. So we're going to open the arms out to the side and then we're going to close them back up. And as you close back up, we're exhaling and you're connecting that bit, bit more into your core. Okay, so we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Keep those shoulder blades drawing down. Make sure you're not arching the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. going to do two more. And then bring the hands so that they're over your shoulders again, but keep the shoulder blades drawing down. Now, you have an option with this next one. You can keep one foot on the floor and just take one leg into tabletop. If you want to work harder, we can take both legs up. But just make sure that if you're in double tabletop, so if both legs are up, you've still got that connection on with your deep core, so pubic bone to tummy button, you haven't squashed your back completely flat into the mat. So you want to try and stay in neutral if you can. So from here, we're going to stretch one leg out in front. The opposite arm is going to reach behind at the same time. And then we're going to draw back to the centre. So we're going to breathe in to stretch. Breathe out to draw back. So just keep it really controlled. We're keeping pelvis nice and level. Keep your shoulder blades drawing down. Connection on with the tummy. And we're going to keep it going. We're going to do one more on each side. And then we're going to take your hands to your shins. We're going to lift the head or you can keep the head down on the mat. But again, just make sure that you're keeping your spine in neutral. We're going to do your double leg stretch now. So again, connect into your deep core, pubic bone to tummy button. Keep that connection on. We're going to stretch arms and legs together and then we're going to circle the arms out to the side and we're going to pull the legs back in, bringing the hands back to the shin. So we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Come back in. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. So again, we don't want to be flattening or arching the back. Try to keep the shoulder blades drawing down, keep your neck long. We're gonna do three more. And then come in. Just pop your weights on the floor, hug your knees in towards you, bring your head down. This time you can let your back flatten. We're just going to rotate the legs around a few times each direction. So we're going to do some bridges before we do some more ab stuff. Now, when you do bridges, you're always working into your core as well. So you're just working everything together, but obviously we're bringing glutes in a bit as well. So we'll do a little bit of that just to break things up a bit. So we're going to come down a little bit flatter under your head. I'm going to come straight up into your bridge, do what you can with these, okay, because they're not easy. I'm just going to move my ponytail out of the way because it's digging into my head. There we go, right. So feet, knees and hips are lined up. We're going to roll up into your bridge, so keep the shoulder blades drawing down. 
as you lift, make sure that you're not flopping your knees out to the side. So you want to keep the knees parallel with the hips. Try and keep the pelvis level through the front. Now, when you get to the top, we're going to stretch one leg up towards the ceiling. Okay, so we're going to stretch that leg up. Now, we're going to drop the hips to the floor. Try not to touch the floor. I'm going to squeeze and lift back up. We're going to do three more. Breathe in, come down. Breathe out, press up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold it. Straight leg down. Straight leg up. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Bend the knee. Bring that foot down. And we're going to go on to the other side. So let's just roll back down. So just give your back a little stretch before we do the other side. Breath in. Rolling back up. Again, keep the knees just parallel with the hips. Keep the pelvis level through the front. So again, we're going to go on to the other side. So stretch the other leg up. And again, we're going to drop the hips. Breathe in down. Breathe out, press. Breathe in down. Breathe out, press. Two more. And then straight leg is going to come down and up. Breathe in, breathe out, last two. And bend the knee, bring the foot to the floor, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're going to roll back down through the spine. When you get to the bottom, hug your knees in, let your back flatten, circle the legs. Well done. Now we're going to do a little sequence next of ab work. So do what you can with these. Um, if you need to stop, just stop. Simple. Um, don't do anything you're not happy with. Okay. Um, you can keep your head down if you prefer, and and um, rather than lifting your head, um, but see how you go. Okay. So we're going to take one leg to tabletop. We're going to take the other leg to tabletop. We're going to stretch one leg out and then we're going to lift the head if you want to but remember we're keeping the spine in neutral as you lift ribs towards pelvis we're not flattening the spine we're not tilting through the front of the pelvis so everything is staying nice and controlled we're going to take your inside hand to the knee the outside hand is down to the shin okay now we're going to take a little snappy breath in keep that connection on pubic bone to tummy button little breath in Breathe out, we're going to switch, and we're going to switch hands as well. So inside hand to knee, outside hand to shin. And then we're switching. Little breath in, and switch. And switch. Now you can do this with your head down, if you prefer. Obviously not as hard. So do the level that you're happy with. Just make sure you're keeping your shoulders down. Your neck is nice and long. I'm just going to keep it going. We're going to do one more on each side. Now we're going to hold it here. Keep that long leg nice and long. Point the toes. So we're really reaching out through that leg. Now we're going to hold it here. We're going to take the hands to the back of the head. We're going to come down to the floor. And we're going to squeeze and lift. And again, come down. Two to go. Try and get your elbows wide. Last one. We're going to hold it. Take the hands back to the leg and we're going to go back to your switches. Quick breath in, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. So just a really quick snappy breath in between each stretch. Let's just do one or two more. We're going to hold it here. We're going to go back to another set. Hands behind head. Control it down and squeeze and lift. And again. Remember as you're coming up, it's ribs to pelvis. 
last one. Bring the hands to the bag again. Off we go again. And switch, and switch, and switch, switch, switch. Breathe out, breathe out. Nice long neck, shoulders down. Couple more. And we're gonna hold it here again. Now this time we're gonna do some obliques. So we're gonna come down, but this time as you come up, little twist, opposite elbow to knee. And down. Three to go. So again, ribs to pelvis. Don't let the back flatten. Keep reaching out through that straight leg. Last one, hold it. Hands to leg, we're gonna do one more set. So switching, 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 switching. Breathe out, breathe out. Out, 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 out. Last one, hold it here. Hands to head. We're coming down, little twist. Three more. Last one. Bring your legs in, momentary rest, and then we're gonna go into your hundred. So let's try and just go straight into it and get it done. So we're gonna reach your arms down towards your feet. We're gonna stretch out the legs and we're gonna pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. Come in, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five. So nice and slowly with the legs. We're taking five pulses to get out straight, five pulses to come back in, keep going. Nice neutral spine, nice long neck. Keep zipping up. Two three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, keep going, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, we've got three more breaths to do, keep the spine in neutral, make sure you're not flattening or arching, we're going to do one more, Well done, and then hug your knees in. Bring your head down and just let the legs rotate again. A few times each direction. Okay, so we're gonna move on to some side lying work. Now again, these exercises are not easy. So see how you fare. We have a few options. You can keep your knees bent and you can keep your legs down. Alternatively, we can have the legs straight and you're actually pressing up so you haven't got as much support coming through the legs. So I'll demonstrate both and you can pick which one you wanna do. You can always come down a level. We're also gonna use a weight, okay? But I'll just show you what we're gonna do without the weight first. So level one, straight arm, knees are bent. We're gonna push up into your side bend. So when we come into the side bend, we're gonna lift the pelvis, keep the shoulders down, we're gonna think about drawing up through your sides. We're thinking C-shaped curve or banana-shaped curve through the spine. We're gonna take the arm over and then we're gonna come back down again. Okay, so you have that option. Keep the legs down and keep the knees bent. The other option that you have is to keep your bottom leg bent, but we're gonna bring your top leg up. So you're just gonna rest the leg, the foot just slightly in front of that underneath leg. Okay. Now this time we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to push up again, but as you push up we're going to stretch out the legs, so you're pressing the legs out into your side bend, so nice straight legs, really reach up through the side. On the way down we're going to come back into the same position that we started off in. Okay, so it's a little bit harder, a bit more controlled. So connect, breathe out push up, stretch out the legs as you lift, C-shaped curve through the spine, and then control it back down to the mat. So either way is absolutely fine, just listen to your body. You can use the weight if you want to. These are quite good because you can just pop your hand underneath the Velcro and it just stays in, in position. So off we go, so we're gonna press up. As you come up, we're gonna reach your arm over the head, 
keep the shoulder blade drawing down, and then we're going to come back down again. We're going to do another three. So breathe out. Breathe in. Keep it going. Last two. And last one. Now we're going to take it on the next one into your side twist. So we're going to press up again, whichever version you did before. So knees down or in this position. We're going to push up. When you get to the top, we're going to take your hand with the weight in. We're going to thread it underneath and we're going to twist. And then we're going to open the arm out. And we're going to reach up to the ceiling, lift the heart to the ceiling. And we're coming under again. And we're coming up again, open out. Keep that top shoulder blade drawing down. We're going to do one more. And then come back to neutral and then come back down. Well done. So the arm that you were leaning on, we're just going to give that arm a little stretch. So just circle the wrist first because you may well feel that like your wrist has just taken a little bit of a hammering. And then we're going to reach that arm over. So we're just lengthening all the way through that side and just breathe into it. So when you breathe in, try and really target the air to the base of the ribs. So we're really stretching out into the base of the rib cage. Keep the arm long. Well done. So we've got to do it on the other side, I'm afraid. So um, let's get over onto the other side. Okay, so exactly the same thing as before. Knees down and coming up like so. Alternatively, bottom leg bent, top leg supports in front. And then as you come up, we're going to stretch both legs out, over, and then come back down again. Okay, so again, whichever way you want to do it is fine. Just make sure that you're thinking about your form and control, obviously comfort, um, and don't do anything you're not happy with. Okay, so again, shoulders are down, connect into your core, breathe out, we're gonna come up, stretch the legs if you want to, and then breathe in, control it back down again. We're gonna do three more. Last one. And then we're going into your side twist again, okay? So nice and carefully, we're gonna press up. And again, we're gonna thread the arm through, open back out. Thread it under, open back out. Last two. Keep it controlled, obviously watch your balance. Keep lifting through the side and then bring it back to neutral. Control back down, well done. And then the arm that we were leaning on, circle the wrist and then take it over and hold it. Not an easy little sequence, but well done. Hopefully you managed that okay. So we're gonna flip over onto your front uh, or onto hands and knees. Um, we don't need the weights for, for this next bit, so you can just pop them to one side. It's quite nice if you've got something like your little block or your folded up towel just to go underneath your knees for this next bit. So again, we're gonna keep this next little sequence continuous, um, so a little bit of a blast. We're gonna do six exercises um, for each, well, six repetitions of each part of the exercise. So we're going to do six of each, but we're going to try and keep it continuous if possible, okay? So, we're going to bring your knees underneath your hips. Take your hands a little bit further forwards of your shoulders. Make sure your shoulder blades are down, spine is neutral, and connect into your core as usual. We're going to tuck the, the toes underneath, we're going to hover the knees, and we're going to press forward and back to start. We're going to do six, okay? So we're going to hover the knees here, keep the spine in neutral, we're going to press forward. So we're going to bring the weight forwards over the wrists and then control back. Five more. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Two to go. And 
come back. Now we're going to stretch the legs out, we're going to add on. So this time we're going to bring one knee in towards you, let your spine curl, and then bring it back. Other side, bring the knee in, and then bring it back. Keep it going. Just one more on each side. And come back and we're going to finish with six press-ups. Okay, so we're going to breathe in, breathe out. Keep your shoulders down, try and keep the spine in neutral. Last one. And then come down and give yourself a well-deserved stretch. Then reach your hands away from you. Allow the spine to open up and just breathe. So, onto hands and knees, we're just going to do some cat stretches here. So draw the shoulders down, take a breath in, breathing out, we're going to scoot tailbone under, curling up, hold for a breath in, and then coming back down. So remember, keep the shoulder blades sliding down the back, breathe out, breath in, hold, and breathe out. Let's just do another two. Now we're going to turn onto your back and we're just going to do some rotations as well. So if you bring feet, knees and hips together, you're going to take your arms out to the side. So your palms are facing up, your shoulder blades are drawing down, legs are glued together. We're just going to roll the knees to one side, just let your head rotate into the opposite direction. Breathe in to hold and then breathe out, just draw in that little bit more into the tummy as the knees are coming back to the centre. And then over the other way, so breathe in. Rotate, breath in, breath out, I'm confusing myself. So breathe out to rotate, breathe in to hold, and then breathe out, connect the tummy, and come back. So breathe in to prepare, breathe out, move. Let your head rotate opposite direction. Take a breath in, keep the shoulder blades drawing down, and then breathe out again, come back up. Let's just do one more. Nice to do this at the end of that. And come back up. Now we're just going to carefully come up into standing and we're just going to finish with a couple of roll downs. Um, so carefully coming up, as usual, just make sure you don't feel dizzy, feel all right when you come up into standing. So we're just going to bring your feet underneath your hips. I want you to imagine you've got a wall behind you and we're going to roll down away from your imaginary wall, and then we're going to restack back up against your imaginary wall. Okay, so just soften into the knees, draw the shoulder blades down, we're going to breathe in, and then breathing out, we're going to drop chin on chest, soften the knees, and down we go. So nice and carefully, we're coming down one segment of the spine at a time. Try to keep the weight coming through the front of the foot as you come down. Hold it for a breath in at the bottom, Breathe out. I want you to think about, imagine that you're pushing the floor away with the front of the foot. Restack the spine nice and carefully all the way through. And back up. When you get to the top, draw the shoulder blades down. Lengthen your head up towards the ceiling. We're going to do two more. So breath in. Breathe out, come down. And breath in, hold. Breathe out again, come back up. And we'll just do one last one. Good. 
Well done everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that little uh, tummy blast. And uh, if you've got any comments, feel free to pop them down below and let me know how you got on. Obviously any issues as usual, let me know as well. Um, so a bit harder, hope you did okay. And uh, I'm gonna go and get myself a nice cup of tea now. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'm gonna try and upload a few more videos tomorrow. These are gonna be more kind of flexibility related. So stretchy, movie, um, mobility.